It is hard to believe, but today is the one year anniversary of the helicopter crash that killed Lakers legend Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna and seven others. And it's a tragedy so great. You remember where you were when you heard the mm. news. It was January 26th of last year when a helicopter carrying Bryant, his 13 year old daughter Gianna, along with two of her basketball teammates, as well as four other adults slammed into a hillside in Calabasas. Kobe's widow, Vanessa Bryant, recently posted on Instagram, the loss is still so traumatic. She has asked people not show the crash site today and instead honor Kobe's legacy and the lives lost. Bryant played for 20 years with the Lakers and helped them win five NBA championships. Lakers star LeBron James talks about today's sad anniversary. It's a lot of things that die um, in this world, but legends never die. And, um, and he's exactly that. Beyond the tributes and memorials, questions remain about the crash and its cause. The NTSB is expected to release a report next month. And Suzanne, in the days after his death, artists in L.A. and around the world started painting murals of Kobe. One fan started keeping track of all the street art tributes, and he says he just wanted to do something positive with his grief. I'm a big Lakers fan, have been my entire life. And, you know, still trying to comprehend Honestly, what happened last year, um, and I'm still grieving myself, as are many fans or millions of fans around the world. Uh, Kobe was legendary for his intense devotion, perseverance, and passion for hard work. And it wasn't just to succeed at the game. It was a way of life for him. And he called it Mamba mentality, of mm -hmm. course, and it lives on in those he inspired. Here's more from CBS 2's Tina Patel. It may have been one year since Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna passed away, but you can see the Mamba mentality lives on as strong as ever. Whenever Jojo Tiarina finds himself struggling during a workout, he looks up at the mural of Kobe Bryant outside Hardcore Fitness downtown. It's kind of an inspiration just because he never gave up. He was always pushing himself 110% and always inspiring others to never give up. Gym owner Cecilia Moran says she had turned down artists who asked to paint her walls before and she was hesitant even after Kobe died. I never want to offend, you know, the families and fans. This is such a big, big thing, you know, and he's such an icon for all of us. So his memory has to remember in the, in the right way. Moran was convinced when artist Louis Pelsino, also known as Slow Motions, decided to picture Kobe with his beloved daughter Gigi. It really reminds my relationship with my dad because he also passed away from one day to another, something that we were not expected. Gym members did not expect that shortly after the mural was completed, they'd be exercising next to it, forced outside because of the pandemic. They say the last year has been tough in so many ways, and having Kobe to look to for inspiration helps. He would think, you guys got this, keep going, keep pushing, don't stop no matter what. After all, that's what the Mamba mentality is all about. We cannot quit. We cannot give up. We have to keep going. This isn't the only mural meant to inspire fans. At last count, there were more than 400 around the world. They've all been cataloged online at Kobe Mural. We've got a link on CBSLA.com. In downtown Los Angeles, Tina Patel, CBS 2 News. And Suzanne, they are so beautiful, you know? They are. I love seeing all the photos and pictures people have posted throughout the years. And we have a special page on CBSLA.com remembering those lost a year ago. We're inviting all of our viewers to share your memories. Upload a message, videos, and photos there.